According to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, bravery is the quality or the state of being brave. What? How do you define bravery with the word brave? If you don't know what bravery means, what makes you think you know what brave means? Hold on. According to Google, bravery is courageous behavior and or character. Now, usually we see this played out in some sort of violent scene or in a movie that's carefully staged. However, today, bravery was shown through the family of Isaac Arzak when they shared the life and achievements of the young man in the Air Jordan 5 during Becker Retro. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. As many of you know, today Nike and Jordan revealed the latest in their Dornbecker series with the Air Jordan 5 Retro for Isaac Arze. While many of the stories today focused around the shoe and its release date and how much it was going to cost, I felt like the story was bigger than that, that it was more about Isaac and his family. Now before you click away because this video is getting all serious and stuff, just hear me out. I started out this video talking about bravery because I really wanted to give you a reference point for this story. At the age of 12 while at basketball practice, Isaac suffered a cardiac arrest or a heart attack. That was January of 2012, by the way, and Isaac underwent open heart surgery for an abnormality that was previously undetected. After recovering from surgery, Isaac was invited to participate in last year's Dorn Becker Freestyle Program. And based on that, Isaac had already started sketching an Air Jordan 5, highlighting his interest and his achievements. But more than that, he became well enough to actually put on his basketball jersey and watch his old team from the stands and occasionally got the opportunity to shoot some hoops during the breaks in the game. Now, this is less than four months after his open heart surgery. However, and I hate that I actually have to use that conjunction to connect these two clauses in this video, Isaac had another heart attack that April, which is April 2012, and he did not survive. However, and I am happy that I get to use that conjunction to connect these two clauses in this video. Isaac's story, well, let's keep it plain here, Isaac's bravery inspired Nike and the Dornbecker Hospital to continue on with his design, so Nike and Dornbecker invited his family to finish up with his design. So the family got together with Nike, took some of the sketches and some of the previous designs and stayed true to his vision and represented what was most important to him in his life. Things like Isaac's jersey number nine for baseball when he pitched a no-hitter. That's on the upper left of the shoe and 31 for basketball on the right. The inside of the tongue features Isaac's initials and the date of his birth and passing. Several parts of the shoe actually glow in the dark, including the eyelets, lace toggle, and outsole, the Nike Air unit, and the quarter panel, a feature inspired by his love of video games. The upper features the word of a poem in black light ink that Isaac wrote just a day before he passed away. Some of the words include my team, my family, my brothers forever, no matter what. So despite the tragic loss that the family faced, losing their son, their nephew, their grandchild, or just a friend, the family had the courage or the bravery to continue on the kid's legacy in hopes that one day it would help someone else that was in a similar situation. My family, we passed the ball. I was made for sport. Sports gods to play forever. Now, many of you say, well, Jock, it's only a shoe, and while materialistically, that is true. The shoe also represents Isaac's bravery and tenacity and his family's willingness to pass on the kid's legacy through the shoe. Now, for those looking to support the Jordan Becker program, you can buy the Air Jordan 5 Retro Isaac RZ on September 14th for $180 at limited locations. My hat's off to Isaac RZ's family, and I pray nothing but God's grace and peace on your heart. Nothing random today. Instead, I'd rather you go hug somebody, tell them you love them, or leave a nice comment about somebody you know down in the comments. I am your host, Jacques Slade. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Today at Sneaks. As always, I appreciate you, and I will see you soon. Peace.